everyone. Um, apologies, I don't have my mic on me. I left it at the house and I just don't feel like going to grab it again. Um, but uh, I think I see we're here with Lilo. This is the first time I've driven her in, I don't know, about a month and a half. And I am kind of sad to say I am selling her. It's just, you know, I do love the car. The car's in very good shape, but unfortunately, I just can't keep up with it anymore. Uh, with the issues it has right now, and I have no idea when I'm going to be able to do this engine swap. And I just hate to see it sit and sit and sit in front of my house. So I'd much rather have somebody enjoy it, or somebody that can actually like get the mo like get a motor in it and be happy with it. Because right now, like, yeah, she's not. I wouldn't recommend anybody drive this thing on the highway around town. It's not so bad, but on the highway it just gets worse. So uh, yeah, with that in mind, though. I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around of this thing and like, and apologies guys, um, there, it's not fully cleaned up yet. I am in the midst of doing that. I just cleaned the body, which I mean actually could be cleaned again because it's freaking so windy out here and thrown around dirt and dust and all that crap. But uh, I'm gonna take you over a tour of my gorgeous 81 or 86 Mustang LX convertible named Lila. So if you take a look, you know, like it's honestly in very, very, very good shape. There is some paint chips and like rock chips and stuff like that. You can see some along the bottom of the door there. There's a little bit of rust on there too. If you want to take a look, you know, see just paint chips and a little bit of rust. But really it's not too bad at all for rust wise on this car. Currently she's on some uh, Nitto uh, winter tires, but... Upon request, I can actually throw in a, a set of CSA wheels that the tires are junk, but... Oh, what the... I thought I pressure washed all this off. Rick. I know what that is. It's not the end of the world. I'll get that off. Um, it's from when I was uh, polishing out my taillights on my 81. But that's okay. You know? Um, I will miss this car. Like, this is the first nice car I've actually owned. But just unfortunately with that motor on its way out, I just, I can't rely on this thing to be reliable. And plus with what we're, what I'm potentially picking up, you know, it's just don't really have room for four vehicles. So, uh, if we take a look inside, you know, and again, still needs a lot more clean up in here. So apologies for that, but... I bought a bunch of stuff just now, spent 84 bucks on cleaning supplies, so. You know, carpet's all in good shape though. You know, seats are a little faded, but these actually can be brought back um, to their original luster. Um, you can see up on the dash again, it's cracked, but not too bad. It's got an aftermarket stereo in it. It's got, hang on, let me take out the key out of the freaking ignition so that it will shut up here. So this car actually has a tilt column, which you can see. Or tilt wheel, I should say, not tilt column. So, you know, um, it does have cruise control, which you can see all the controls here. It has um, AC as well, but that's currently not functioning, uh, I think just because it needs a... Uh, a recharge. I've turned it on and it just it doesn't blow cold. So my guess is it just needs a recharge. Um, and yeah, other than that, um, if we take a look under the hood, we will find a uh, well, my engine. Which, under the hood here, you'll see a 3.8 V6. Now this motor, of course, is not... She's hurting. I'm pretty sure she has a washed out cylinder and it's not good. Uh, it fluctuates in oil pressure. Um, still has all of these stickers and it, it's been retrofitted to R134. Back on July 11th, 2003. Um, 
It shows that it was recalled for the catalytic converter back in the day. Uh, now this battery doesn't come with it. It'll come with a different battery. It's just the other battery is dead at the moment, so I just need to charge it up. But uh, you know, it's a good little motor, and it sounds great, honestly. Um, but as well, go into the trunk, and here you will see. I need to clean this thing again. I just washed it. I just washed it, but it's been sitting for so long that my usual cleaning didn't do a good enough job, so it'll take a couple of attempts, but that's okay. Again, I live in an alley, what do you expect? You know, the trunk here, um, nothing really fancy back here, just all the carpet. It does come with the, uh, this is a cover for the top, so when you have the top down like I do now. Um, and as well, making sure I have my keys in my pocket. Did I... Okay, they're in my back pocket. Okay, we're good. And this is a uh, pretty original car overall. Like, um, I am the third owner of it. And it's honestly all in really good nick. Um, but something else I want to show you guys is the top mechanism actually functioning. As well as the power window. I just have them down right now, but everything does work in this thing. Other than, of course, the AC, like I mentioned. here under here it doesn't sound bad but it doesn't sound amazing either like you here right and i mean i can check the dipstick shows like it has too much oil in it but I mean it will need to be replaced again but honestly this oil is not that old it's about two months old and it has maybe 400 kilometers on it if that so, yeah, because I did, I did change the oil when I got back from my trip, and she's been pretty much parked since, which is sad, because the oil pressure, well, let's see if we can see it on the inside, and the windows need to be cleaned and stuff like that, that's why I bought all the cleaner that's in the back seat there. Um, what was it looking, oh yeah, right. See, now the oil pressure is looking fine right now, but then watch what happens. So I'm actually moving. And now it's backfiring again. Hasn't done that in a while. He's like, listen to the, how this thing sounds out back. because don't feel like cooking the motor so uh with it backfiring the way it is it just you know and then you can take a look at how it looks with the top up and honestly this top is in pretty good shape although it could be replaced just because 
There is a couple of tears in it. Small little tears and stuff like that. It doesn't actually leak that I have seen so far. But I'm pretty sure this is the original top on the car. So it's pretty impressive that it's lasted this long since 1986. And again, like I mentioned, I am the third owner. The second owner was a friend of mine named Keith. He only owned it for five years and then the original owner owned it for a lot longer than that. I've owned this thing since October. And, you know, just a little nick there. And again, but pretty good shape overall. It needs to be cleaned more, but I will do that when I do the rest of my cleaning. Because, yeah, there, there is a little bit of a, yeah, like, the glass is all in good shape, though. That's the nice part, but the glass, or the, the top, just has a couple of holes in it and everything. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, let me put this back. And the reason for selling this is just like again i don't really want to see it sit anymore um and also i want a reliable vehicle too if, I, if i'm gonna have two vehicles i want one to at least be reliable which don't get me wrong stitch is at the moment but also if stitch goes down for a couple of days i'm not sure if i can rely on velo to uh, get me by like if it's just around town sure but if i need to go out of town it's one of those deals which fairly soon I might have to so uh yeah um this thing is up for sale for 3500 Canadian or best offer um I am also interested in trades as well you know this car is located here in Sundry Alberta and uh if you're interested let me know we can uh potentially make a deal it will be cleaned up a little more than it is right now um I'm gonna do that when I get back home and yeah, other than that, you know, it's just, uh, I'll miss this car, but I need, again, and I can also just use the cash too, because Stitch has been draining my wallet pretty bad lately. And with the COVID situation right now, actually, where I sell all my cars out of Greg's, he's under isolation uh, due to COVID. So I'm waiting for him to be under, not under isolation anymore and test negative. And once that happens, then I can go about selling more cars and doing more videos out there. But that's one of the reasons why there's been not really many videos lately because of that. Um, and also there is another vehicle that we're looking at, me and my dad, which if we can come together on a price and everything, it'll uh, come home with us. Um, it is a 1978 Honda Civic. Which, you guys might be thinking, oh, Honda Civic, ew, gross, no. Honda Civics are actually kind of cool, especially the first gen ones, in my opinion. And the A, or the 78 is a one year only, it's the last year, it's got a one year only hood and one year only tail lights. And they look freaking awesome. Uh, if you want to check that thing out, I have pictures up on my Instagram. And as well, I might edit it here in the video and show about a, a couple pictures of it. The hood actually opens, doesn't open conventionally, it actually opens like that, so it's pretty cool. I really do uh, love that about that car. It's a very solid car, it, all it needs is rockers for any rust repair and a little bit on the rear fenders. But other than that, it's a very solid car. Um, it's a one owner car with 120,000 original kilometers on it. Uh, this car has about 197 198,000 on it, so, you know, uh, this, for a convertible, it's actually been driven. It's still low kilometers for the year, but for a convertible, it's a little high kilometers, you know what I mean? So, but you don't see these anymore. It's, uh, kind of hard to come by. When you see a Fox Body Mustang convertible, you normally don't see these 85 to 86s with this, uh, two-year-only nose on them. And the 86, the only way that you can tell an 86 from an 85 without checking out the net is to look at the back end and see if there's a third brake light or not. That's the only way how I know how to tell the difference. But, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, she's, uh, I'm excited about potentially picking up the Civic. Uh, it's going to need a lot of work. You know, it's been sitting for 20 years, but it'll be a cool little YouTube project. And as well, I want to keep it. Like, I don't just want to fix it up and flip it. I want to keep this car. So, uh, yeah, 
Um, other than that, you know, I'm just a little disappointed about getting rid of this thing, but it is what it is, you know. With my buddy uh, so busy lately and selling his shop, I don't really have a place to really put the engine in, and I have no way of really getting the motor as well. Like, if I could get the motor, okay, well, I still need a rear end for this thing then. Um, and then there's that whole thing with the Civic, which actually it's my dad that's interested in it, not me. Like, don't get me wrong, I would be interested in it too, but he's the one that's actually going to pay for it. It's just like, okay, cool. And I'll help him out a little bit on stuff and whatever else with the car. And, you know, it'll be a really cool project for YouTube. You'll see it more... There'll be more videos on that working on it as opposed to Stitch because I have a little more experience now than when I was working on Stitch. And a little, know a little more of what I'm doing, but uh, there will be a video actually, uh, if they can find the keys for it out there, we are going to do a video on the, the, uh, the car and basically of us reviving it out in the field. So it'll be pretty cool. Show you guys the steps in that. All the different jazz. So, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, that's kind of our plans. Uh, they just need to find the keys, and then once they find the keys, me and my dad will go back out there and we'll have some fun reviving a Civic. And who knows? If it's possible, we might drive it home because it's honestly in that good of shape that we think we might be able to. Um, but, yeah, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you did, you know, please like the video. Every little bit helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Crap, you know how that goes. Uh, comment down below of anything you want to say. Although, please, if you're going to be a pervert in the comments, just fuck off. I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. Honestly, like, people asking me, oh, can you get stuck in mud and then go do that? It's just like, why? Oh, because it's hot. Screw off. You know, um, also the pedal pumping weirdos, you can fuck off too. Because I'm sick and tired of your shit. And yeah, it's just, you know, one of those deals. And also, we're at over 100, 860 subscribers right now, which I'm super happy about. And I never expected to be here. You know, it was like one year ago where I was at 19 subscribers. So, you know, I've gotten quite a bit of uh, progress on that front. But uh, hope you're staying safe during COVID-19. Good luck with every workout. And as well, if I can film your ride, uh, please let me know. You can contact me at Katarina's.Garage on Instagram or Katarina's Garage on Facebook and we'll go from there. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye! Pikachu! <laughs>